Hawaii is home to one of the world's most active volcanoes, Kilauea. This one mountain is believed to have been erupting for at least 300,000 years. And more recently, it's become a huge tourist attraction, bringing people from across the world to see the mesmerizing lava flows on its flanks. But recent discoveries are throwing its history into question. My name is Don Swanson, and I'm a geologist at the Volcano Observatory. Kilauea has, has usually been considered to be a very quiet, benign volcano erupting only lava flows. But what we found is that that's wrong. Uh, for the last 2,500 years, and that's about as far back as we can see, Kilauea has been in an explosive mode about 60% of the time. Explosive eruptions are, are small by Mount St. Helens standards, say, but they're large <laughs> when you think about Hawaiian lava fountains, which may go a few hundred feet in the air and most 2,000 feet in the air. These may get up into the jet stream at, uh, at times, which may get up to 30,000 feet. We have found rocks weighing uh, 12 tons, about uh, almost a mile from the, from the center of the, of the volcano. And we found golf ball sized rocks about 12 miles from the volcano. Don now thinks he's getting a handle on the difference between Hawaii's lava fountains and its explosions. The explosions are usually powered by uh, steam from groundwater that gets into the, uh, into the system and, and expands and pushes out rocks. They can throw blocks out ballistically, like a shot put or a baseball coming off a bat. And uh, they can even surge out as uh, hurricane velocity mixtures of hot ash and air that are impossible to survive. 